What's up everyone, Azario here, welcome to another ADS Play channel update for the week of November 26th, going to November, going to December 2nd, we're actually in, crossing over into the next month, the final month of the year, and um, you know, things are going to be interesting, but in this video, I'm not necessarily going to be talking about the games I'm going to play. Um, this week, I think it's kind of like obvious which games I'm playing. You know, I, I Blue Reflection, Assassin's Creed Origin. I'm finishing South Park, The Fractured But Whole uh, this week. So, you know, those games are already in the in the agenda. But I think this is a perfect time for me to inform people about things that have happened this week. If you didn't watch the videos, um, I do have the link up. Uh, well, not the link, but the the tabs up. So I'm gonna switch to them in a little bit. Um, in regards to those as well as you know, I have my own esports team. I'm trying to promote I'm trying to get to around to the like these tournament these these uh Like these fighting game tournaments Etc. Etc. I'm really trying to make a move on that Because um, if, if, if it's any time to do it now is the time to do it um, I'm also talking about me losing my job um, as well as you know several other things so you guys I just need you to, to I, I just need you guys to um Stay tuned and just be informed of everything that's going on. So the first thing I'm gonna touch on are the games that I've played uh, so far, uh, or the games that I beat. Um, I beat uh, Sonic Forces this past week. Literally, only took me like three videos. Um, the playlist is like down at the bottom of my recently completed playthroughs. I haven't moved that up yet, so. They, they won't let me do it in Internet Explorer. I got to do it on, you know, right here. It's already beaten. I beat it already. Cool concept. The controls suck, but it is what it is. It was fun for a while. It lasted. Um, I did a live stream of Batman, the Enemy Within, Episode 3 released this past week. Uh, the Fractured Mask, or Fractured Mask, and that storyline is getting intense. Like I said, Telltale Games, they keep putting out consistent good projects. They haven't put out a bad project yet, so they already in my best gaming companies, uh, you know, list. So anything that they release, I'm willing to play. Um, I'm still playing Blue Reflection. Please forgive that background noise. TV probably loud. Um, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I'm, I'm still playing Blue Reflections, you know, South Park Fracture, but whole I told you that already. Um... But that's the games that I'm going to be playing. So now that I touched on that, let's get over to the other things I wanted to speak on, um, including my esports team. Uh, the esports team, the World Warriors Collective. This is a Facebook group that I made back in like 2011. Matter of fact, I have a shirt that came in and I put it up on my Instagram at ADS Play 101. All one word. You guys see right here, it, it got my. And no, I'm not sponsored by Under Armour. It's just the logo is just on an Under Armour shirt. You know, that's it and this is like a shirt that i got made for myself so the ones that's up for sale don't have the under armor logo on it that way i can't get sued um but yeah you, you see i got my team name on this my name on the sleeve this is the team logo right here world warriors collective um you know and that's the shirt that i'm going to be wearing to the fighting game tournament excuse me i keep saying terminants tournaments as soon as i get the chance to figure out when these tournaments are where they're going to be and you know how much money is going to take me to get there because i will be attending these especially in 2018 i plan on going around you know getting my name out there getting the brand out there um and things like that so uh thank you again to the people at squad locker that helped me put the logo on a t-shirt and they gave me a copy of the logo i got the logo copyrighted and things like that it, it's an official registered trademark now so can't nobody else make money on my damn shit that's my logo my my thing it's me so yeah but uh yeah i do have the t-shirts up for anybody who is interested in buying one uh the campaign is going to be going on for like 17 more days and then once that's over you know the orders are going to ship out and uh and then, I'm gonna, um, and then I'm gonna have to open up the store again. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, I also have a store at Squad Locker. And my dumbass, I don't think I put the link up yet. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Squad Locker. I gotta look that up. Uh, Squad Locker. 
Planet Walker. World. World Warriors. Collective. Matter of fact, I'm not going to put that one up. Because I think... Even though it's up... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one alone. But I do have a... Uh, a store on squad lockers that you guys can go look if you care to buy a shirt off of there but I think these are, are cheaper you know because with, with the ones on squad locker they're more so for like anybody else who joins the esports team this is more so for like just a regular viewer who likes to look at a shirt and wants to buy one I have several colors of them uh, you see right here I, I got the black uh, navy the gray the white and my personal favorite the purple Actually, my personal favorite is the gray, but uh, the purple looks nice too. But yeah, these are the colors that come with it. Um, and for the ladies, I have a relaxed tee for you guys. Um, once you click reserve now, I think it, it, it sends you, well, I don't think, but it sends you to a place that lets you know um, that way you can, you know, have your shirt size uh, known. That way they won't be sending you like the wrong size t shirt. So. Yeah, like all, of and I'm gonna put different kind of shirts up next time. Um, mind you, this is my first time doing um, t-shirts and things like that. But yeah, all proceeds to this to these t-shirt sales are going towards, you know, like the fighting game tournaments that I will be attending, um, and it's gonna help build the War Warriors Collective brand because I'm really trying to do my best to make this into an official name in the fighting game community so i'm trying to make my presence known with this so you know and uh link is teespring a uh, matter of fact you, you can go to you can go to teespring.com and search world warriors collective the same way it's spelled right here world warriors collective without the e and um that's basically where you guys can go to get a t-shirt so i'm looking forward to seeing when you get the t-shirt you know on twitter Put hashtag rep the warrior in you and let me see you uh, with the t-shirt that you guys bought. Like I said, the campaign is going on for 17 more days. Once the campaign is done, that's when the t-shirts are going to get printed and then sent because they got to know how many they got to print out in order to, you know, have shipped to the people before they uh, um, do it. So. And like I said, I'm going to redo the campaign again when this is over. And once that first order of t-shirts gets shipped out, then we can, you know, head from there. Um, next up, my Streamlabs. This is the link that you guys seen, um, that, that you see in the video descriptions uh, right here. This is um, Streamlabs. Uh, dot com slash ADS play 101. This is like for the people out there who've been wanting to donate and leave donations and things like that. You just come here and you just do it from here. It goes straight to my PayPal. And again, that goes towards helping out with, with, with the tournaments and things like that. The links every time I live stream, the, those two links to the T-shirts as well as to this is going to be placed in the chat box as well as to let you know. I don't have any way to show it, I don't think, but... I do have uh, Super Chat enabled and I have the sponsorship enabled. So anybody who wanted to, you know, continuously support me uh, like once a month, um, the Super Chat uh, has been enabled and the sponsorships has been enabled. When you go to the chat box and I, like I said, I have no way to show it. At least I don't think so. The super chat is going to have like this dollar sign at the end. I think I probably got to put this in. Uh, let me try Google Chrome because I don't think I could do it any other way. Let's try Google Chrome. And I want to say it's down here. Yeah, I'm not revealing the stream key, so we ain't got that to worry about. Uh, where is the chat box? I thought they had a chat box. Yeah, right here. Okay, now that they're not showing the like, this right here is like the super chat, and this is like a 
a little quick thing that you guys can do if you guys want to um, have like a special I'm not exact 100% how it works but basically you guys can send a donation to have like a special box with your messages sent in it so anytime you attend the chat that's what it's going to be um, as well as up here at the, at the top when I'm actually live streaming you're going to see it it's going to have a sponsor uh, button right there and basically what that does is that you guys are you know paying on a monthly basis a set amount of money to help me keep things running you know it's gonna help for hardware upgrades again it goes back to the esports team uh, going to attend the fighting game tournaments or any type of tournament uh going along because i plan on being like the lcs uh getting a name out there in fighting game tournaments uh shooters you name it i'm really trying i'm really trying to build that brand so that's what everything is going towards and um yeah so that's it for all of that now where's my oh yeah, here we go nope not that right here bang out so on again to the situation with me being um being fired now this is a one hell of a situation let me pause this because i want you guys to hear this um I, I released a video this past week explaining everything in detail the vid the video is pretty lengthy though it's like 54 minutes but i'm explaining every last single detail about what happened right here you can see right here uh, i think only one people one person that saw it but the story does have a happy ending so i encourage people to go and watch that video so that you guys can get a clearer understanding because i'm not going to go into detail as i did in this video because i want people to understand you know um what that video was made for and i want them to go there and watch that video but yeah that video sums up everything but just to clear it up what i'm going to be doing now that i'm not in that situation anymore uh it's it's a lot of positives you know the company did tell me that i was eligible to come back in six months you know i didn't have any company violations or anything like that so they said i was welcome to come and reapply again which is a good thing because that's a with a job like that i was actually happy working there you know i was happy working for them and I didn't leave the way that I would want to leave because of all the random nonsense, literally things out of my control. Two instances, one, I got food poisoning and the second one was somehow my bank card got blocked and I couldn't make it to work. So that those two situations is what led up to my termination. But they told me, you know, and they understood, but I understand what they got to do because, you know, that's their policy. They got to follow it regardless of what the reasons are, because I did call in both times. I figured that that would control the amount of points that I racked up, but I racked up too many points because they work on like this point system. And if you rank up rank, in, you know, in your first 90 days, if you get like a certain number of points within like the first 30 days or within like your time frame there, within that first 90 days, then you end up getting fired. And unfortunately, I ran into a lot of bad luck, which again, I had no control over. Uh, you know bad luck at bad times you know at the worst time for me but i'm not in any dire situation where i don't know what i'm gonna do i know some people you know they lose a job they're like oh my god i don't know what i'm gonna do next i don't know you know they just go and they sign up to another damn job a job is basically like a, a relationship you know you was it was you was happy about the um about the relationship and then all of a sudden it just went sour for no damn reason and then you just got to try it again later. You know what I mean? It's just a bad time. You know, like the chemistry just not there yet. It's just not ready for, it's not time for a relationship between you and this per other person. And in the case of being an employee and an employer, you know, once you leave that employer, it's like, you really want to go back to retail? Hell fucking no. Retail is like that ex-girlfriend that always got on your damn nerves and you know better than to go back there. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm not going back to retail. Plus, I want to see how this unemployment, um, what these unemployment checks look like. Because I know um, California, they got their policy. I'm waiting to hear back from them. I should be hearing back from them sometime this week on uh, whether or not. I don't think anything should disqualify me from getting it. Because, like I said, I was honest and when I was filling out the application. So everything's good. 
uh, as far as that. But if not, I still got my YouTube. I'm still got you know other things that I'm pulling money from, and I'm good. Not to mention for the ones that want to donate, I just gave the links, buy a T-shirt, you know, all that other good stuff. So everything's um, on the up and up. I just wanted to inform you guys. So that's everything. That's everything for this week. I don't know what new games are coming out, uh, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out. I will be playing online matches in, uh, you know, in, in games like Tekken 7. And, you know, when Geese Howard is uh, being released next week in Tekken 7, I think they said that he's being released on the 5th. So, yeah, Geese Howard is being released. Um, you know, it's, it's some exciting things coming for fighting games, so... I'm going to do some online rank matches, try to get my rank up. I'm a Vanguard right now. And ever since I got the 5 gigahertz internet, you know, I haven't been dealing with any lag. This is always positive. Um, yeah, man, I'm just uh, I'm gonna just keep it pushing. You know, I'm going to stay positive. You know, it had me down for a little bit, losing my job and things like that. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. I'm not in any um, any emergency situation, and I'm trying to keep it like that. So I have more time to focus on gameplay and I've been trying to like, I've been kind of teetering with that because my body is just geared towards waking up early in the morning because when I was working there, I, I had to wake up at like 520 just to make it there by seven. And then I leave at 430 and, you know, my body is kind of going through a shock trying to adjust back to regular time. So you guys see me live streaming late at night. Unfortunately, that's kind of what my body is doing. It's just, I guess it's trying to make up for the sleep that I wanted during the time I was working there. And now it's just like I got to adjust to waking up at a regular time. So it is what it is, man. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace. Thanks, you guys, for listening. Again, T-shirts are up. The link is in is on the channel right there, Teespring. Um, War Warriors Collective. It has spelled collective without the E. And that's basically it, man. So thank you guys very much. Peace. And I'll see you guys for gameplay this week.